so here I am again. This is very peculiar. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this is a night of sort of swinging emotions, isn't it? Um, you know, we're laughing and we're having a, a lovely time, and there's something very sad and deep hanging over us, and it, it's all about what we do and the dangers that so many of our colleagues put themselves, put their, put their lives in, on the line for. And it's going to be there part of this evening. And so it's there, but I know we're also going to have an enjoyable time. The, uh, we're gonna move ahead. The Ed Cunningham Award, sponsored by Ford Motor Company, is for best international reporting in magazines. And the winner is National Geographic Magazine. Now here you have a famed writer, Alma Gil, uh-oh. Alma Gil Guillermo Prieto and an award-winning photographer, Shaul Schwartz. Their article connected the drug violence and economic decline in Mexico to the rise of cults and unholy saints who compete with traditional Christian icons. Alma is here from LaGuardia in the nick of time, and Shaul took the subway from Brooklyn. <laughs> Please come up and accept your award and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I would like to thank uh, Leslie for her incredibly gracious presentations of all of us, and I would like to thank the uh, Overseas Press Club for this terrific award. I would particularly like to express my joy at this collaboration with Shell Schwartz, who is not only a wonderful and very brave photographer, but also a terrific partner in work. Um, we both worked very hard on this tough story, looking for as many ways into it as our imagination and official willingness to provide access, access allowed. Um, you know, all reporting, you know, very well is collaborative. And sometimes there's too much collaboration and sometimes there's too little. And in this case, blissfully, like Goldilocks, it was just right. Um, our editors, Oliver Payne for copy and Sarah Lean for uh, photographs, worked equally hard to make our words and images shine and we thank them both. Um, I would particularly like to mention the wonderful contribution of Karen Font, who was the fact checker for this story. She not only convinced the director of the prison that I had visited to talk to her, but to let one of the prisoners I had interviewed talk to her on the phone in Washington, D.C. as well. And in the course of this conversation, Karen discovered a crucial piece of information, which is that Without disputing his guilt, he was accused of kidnapping, which is one of the most heinous crimes in Mexico. And I won't go into how horrible it is to be kidnapped in Mexico. He wasn't disputing what he had done. He said that he sincerely wished to be brought to trial. He and his best jail buddy had both been held in prison for nine years without even knowing when they would get a trial date and they long to see their day in court and begin serving out their sentence at last. And Karen's discovery revealed as much as I found out on my own in reporting about Mexico society's terrible difficulty in fighting crime the only way it really counts, which is by providing justice. And it is justice and peace that I hope for in my country and recognition at last among the participants in so many savage conflicts around the world, that we are the messengers and not the gun. And we wish no one any harm. We only want to tell their story. Thank you very much. <laughs> 